Hello everybody and welcome back to It's a Wrap, aka the Me Kind Cast. We're back with episode 7. It's been about a solid month. It's been a whole month since the last one. I I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. This is... I don't know. Um, I guess I've just gotten kind of sidetracked with things. Just life has just not been the best recently. And I've also just been busy, but I'm back and I'm happy to be, you know, recording again. And I realized looking back at some of my, you know, some, you know, the previous episodes that, like, when, like, I'm talking, I have to have my volume up, like, pretty high. Because I always have, like, the mic farther, like, kind of far, like, it's farther away than it should be for me. And I do that because I'm afraid of me being too, um, uh, you know, like, too loud. But it's pretty close up this time. So, um, if it's too loud... Um, I guess I'll see, uh, again, you know, I'm still experimenting and figuring out everything, especially, you know, with my, with my, my, uh, my, my fan heater noise in the back. Again, I don't think you can hear it. I think I'm being paranoid, especially if I'm up here talking. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it, it, it's, 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 it's been a minute. Um, surprisingly, I actually don't have, like, a ton of stuff to talk about. Because he, he, here's my thing. Here's another thing I'm gonna really, you know improve on too because again i i'm i'm new to trying to have like a like a really like focused and professional type podcast well when i say professional i you know i i i just mean something that like could be like um uh, like 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 mainstream and popular like that could pass for that you know you know something like you know like h3 or joe rogan or you know i it's any popular podcast i want to be like properly organized even though it's small because that's i i hope you know like that's kind of like my dream is to kind of get to that point one day so i think hosting a podcast and just being able to do really cool things and have like a cool platform and talk to cool people that's it's it's, it's one, one of my like far fresh dreams i don't plan on you know pursuing like a like a podcast host as like a career but if it turns into something cool and big i would be more than happy and that would make me incredibly happy that's why i'm gonna stick with this for um uh i don't know for just as long as I, I don't know. I mean, I, I plan on keeping this shit up for, like, years. Like, currently, honestly. Like, I don't know. I, I plan for this being, like, for, like, a very long-term thing. Which, that, that makes me excited to think about. But that's not the point. Okay, we're here with episode 7, okay? I, I, I have a few interesting things to talk about. It, it's, it's just some, um, just the more personal things that I like talking about. Um, I'll be having some, some people on soon, of course, probably next episode, but I, I just, I don't know, I, I want to talk about a few things, um, uh, some mu- music stuff, some game stuff, some, some, uh, real life stuff, just, just kind of talk, kind of talk and ramble. Okay, so, the first thing we're going to talk about is the new Batman game. Now, I covered this in my, like, second episode, I think, but that was, you know, that was, like, a couple months ago, that was before we got all this new information about the game. So, so we all know that WB Montreal, the people who made Batman Arkham Origins, that they've been working on a new Batman game for, like, a while now. Um, again, like, I mean, we, ha- we don't know. I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure, like, it's confirmed at this point, but it's also not, like, officially. It's just, like, based on the leak, on, like, a few leaks that have been true so far, based on some, like, reliable people... Um, according to some, like, I'm um, a Batman Arkham YouTube people I watch, and I, I trust, I trust them, because, you know, they don't really spread false information, at least the ones I watch, right? So, it's got, it's not gonna be an Arkham game, it's, it's gonna, like, it's gonna be, like, a, like, a Batman game, right? It's, it's gonna, like, play like one, it's just gonna be, like, a soft reboot of, uh, of the series, which, I mean, honestly, I'm okay with it being a reboot, I'm okay with it being a part of Arkham, although, at this point, I used to be... I could go either way with it being connected to Arkham or not, but for a while I was leaning towards it to being connected to Arkham, but now I'm kind of leaning towards it not being connected to Arkham, because, I mean, it's going to be a soft reboot regardless, even if it is does have Arkham in the title, which would make sense since it's a soft reboot. It's not going to be an Arkham game, let's just go with that. The chances of it having Arkham are incredibly low anyways, at this point considering that 
you know, the 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 story w w was wrapped up with with uh, Arkham Knight, anyways. And it it would just be really complicated to continue it. So I feel like a, a reboot is honestly like the way, the best way, and that's what's gonna happen, anyways. Um, looking from the you know from the looks of it, so we know that it's been in development for a while, right? And what's crazy is that last September. Um, uh, w Montreal, like, they put out some like tease images, like it was like, and you know, for the game, and they were like they were just like symbols, but people weren't able to like for sure, you know, know like know what the symbols represented. Obviously, you know, people made speculations that that it was just like like, like evil groups, you know, from like the Batman universe, you know, like like the League of Assassins, Court of Owls, because the Court of Owls are gonna be like like the main villain, because. The information that's come out in the past couple of days has really confirmed that, and you know if we're going off the leaks and not even not even just the leaks, um, but just like the the information that WB has actually teased themselves. Sorry, I had a mic malfunction. Like I just went right back into my sentence. Um, but yeah, so off the stuff they also like teased themselves. Um, we know that, 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 that is what's, is what is happening. God, I'm having like a stroke. I'm sorry. So, pretty much, okay. Which, and what's crazy thing is that they put out, like, the, the, those, um, uh, those set of teaser images last September. Dude, I remembered, I, I, I remembered the, um, uh, like, the, like, the day they were tweeted out. I got, I, 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 I was just getting home from school, and I remember I got so hyped. I'm like, oh, there, 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 there's going to be a, a reveal within the next couple of days. It has to be because they're doing these symbols. And it's been um a whole 11 months, and still we haven't gotten any, you know. I, I don't even want to think about that. That was already pretty much a year ago. I remember it as clear as day, man. I don't know. That's that's besides the point. So there's been this uh this uh, DC event that's been confirmed for about like a couple months now called DC Fandom. It's gonna be this like online digital event where where they're gonna reveal information for you know for like comics, you know like 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 movie stuff. Um like Rocksteady is gonna be showing off their Suicide Squad game. It's just gonna be a bunch of DC information. Now it was heavily implied, but and now confirmed. Um, that, that, um, th that the new Batman game was officially going to be revealed, you know, in WB Montreal, is that their Batman game was going to be revealed at DC Fandom, and now we know this for sure, because the other day, um, I again, like, we already knew before, but now it's just, like, completely set in stone. It, it, it didn't need to be set in stone even more, but it is. So here we are. Um... So they tweeted out. Sorry, you're gonna hear me. You're gonna hear me clicking. I'm sorry. I apologize. I gotta go through the information. I could go on my phone, but my phone's kind of charging. I can't really quite get to it at the moment. So they tweeted out a thing in Morse code that I don't think deciphered to anything. Um, a coherent. It was it was just like a bunch of letters, and and, and then they added this account called at redacted. Now redacted, what it was a term they were using to describe the um the game like early on and, and like the very like early like, er, like you know early teasing phases of the game. I'm sorry to people who haven't came up with this. I know I'm just I'm not speaking English to you, and I well I'm trying to explain it as best I can. It's really complicated. Also doesn't help that I'm not the best at ex at explaining sometimes because I tend to like like want to like over explain things and it ends me it, it ends up having me go back and talk for like for like like for, for like an hour just because I'm trying to explain everything because like I'll like I'll explain one thing and then I'm like oh yeah l let me explain why why that thing is connected to that thing and then I just go on a tyrant so they added this redacted account and it's it, it's just a, an account that's obviously going to be used as a promotion for the game. Um, you know, it's just, it's just, like, a super, like, ominous, it has, you know, it's just, like, like a, like a, like a black and red, like, 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 technology, computer hacking, weird symbol aesthetic, I don't know how to describe it, man, just go on WB Montreal's Twitter, and just go to the, you know, the tweet, and go to the, the redacted account, and, you know, you'll see what I mean. Um, so, and they tweeted a video along with it, so what it is, it, it's just, it's just like uh just like just, 
just this video of just like some like it looks like like a computer screen and there, there's, there's just like a like, like a circle and symbols on it it's i'm not doing you any favor i'm sorry but at, at, there's a point in the video where you see a quarter owls uh symbol flash on the screen so that's just you know it, it's just it's just a, a teaser image okay and then when you go to the redacted account um there there's a website called redacted that's you know ha has like like um a threes for for the e's whatever it's kind of cryptic so i went on it yesterday okay because or yeah monday because month so they, they tweeted out like monday morning that's when i all you know all that stuff went live and the website set set up said to come back like at like this specific time and for me um, i'm on eastern time so for me it was 11 eastern time um uh on tuesday right because it's, it's currently 1 a.m on uh wednesday morning by the way so so uh so i set an alarm just to make sure i was i was up before my alarm because i don't because i wake up at like a semi-normal i don't wake up that late usually but i set one just in case so i woke up before it um because uh, you know it's, it was for 11 i was i was going to see what, what happened at 11 um oh and so before this um uh before it was even like 11 before you know like the information that was going to come out at this time was revealed when you go to the website you can see that i'm uh there there are um, uh, tabs for uh four different phases so what pretty much what's going to happen is that there's going to be like, like a new teaser every day until fandom um, or they're, they're going to be skipping one day because one's been revealed already. There, there's going to be one at 11 a.m. at 11 a.m. this morning, um, on Wednesday. And then there's going to be two more. So wait, wait, for Wednesday, Thursday. For... Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm no, there, there, there is going to be one every day. I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't think it was, I don't know. I'm getting all my stuff mixed up. So again, so there was information through. So there was um uh, the initial launch of like of like the 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 phase. It was pretty much like an announcement that they're gonna be having like teased for like the rest of the week. So Monday was, was the announcement that, that they're gonna have things today or yes sorry rather yesterday Tuesday was the um was it the first tease which I'll get to. And today at eleven there's gonna be another tease. And it's gonna be one Thursday and it's gonna be one Friday and then Saturday is the event where I'm assuming is when we're gonna get like either like the uh the uh, like the uh, CGI announcement trailer or gameplay. I don't know if we're we could go both. Um who knows what we're gonna get, but we're definitely gonna get at at the very least like like the like the, the big announcement, you know, CGI trailer at fandom. That's like that's confirmed. Obviously, it's not 100%, but, you know, let's be real. So, let's talk about the information that came out today. Or, yesterday. I I haven't gone to bed yet, so Tuesday is still today for me, technically. You know, even though it's, it's Wednesday now. So, pretty much all it was, it was, it was, it's just some, uh, just, like, a little tease of, like, of, like, of, like, the map of the game. So, it, it, it's literally just, like, like, a square of um, a part of the map and it but you know it's 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 in like a like ai Okay, I greatly apologize for that long pause. Um, I 
keep having mic problems. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I it's been this thing like where we're like um, um like like I don't plug in like the back of my computer properly, and I just had to I had to readjust, and it took a second. I greatly apologize. That's unprofessional. It's also more unprofessional that I'm probably not gonna cut it out because it 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 was just like a like a like a like a, like a minute of silence. You, you that's that's really bad. Unprofessional. That wouldn't be acceptable if I was bigger, but hey, I can let it slide for now. Because I am uh, can use the excuse that I'm small and I'm not good at editing, which that is true. Both of those things are true. Yeah, so pretty much, it's just like a little thing on the map. Um, I wasn't describing it good before. I was trying to figure out a, like a go way. Pretty much like, um, it's 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 kind of like like a, like 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 an overview of the map. It's kind of like if 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 you were playing, it's kind of like like you would like um uh, like press like the select button and you, like you would see the map and you could go it, you, you can go through it and like select like like a like like a waypoint. That's the kind of view it is like, of of the map. So it's kind of like a little like like AI generated map where it's it's like blue and it's. <clears throat> I'm terrible. I'm sorry. So. Oh yeah, wait, I forgot. Um we actually already know what what's going to be revealed today, Wednesday. It's just going to be another segment of the map because people they uh, data mine the website. So we already know. So like I've already seen it and it, it's literally just like like the same thing as today, but just like a different part of the map and people put the images together and they actually are connected. So, I mean it, it doesn't really get me hype because it's just part of like it's just it's just part of the map. And I don't know what to say, you know, it's, I mean, it's got a map, like, like, there are buildings, there are structures, it's, you know, they're not going to reveal, like, anything crazy yet, so, I guess, you know, that's that. And I'm assuming it's going to be the, uh, the uh, same thing for uh, Thursday and Friday, but who knows, like, maybe, like, they, they could, you know, you know, post, post just, like, a picture of, like, a, like a like a villain that's gonna be in the game, or maybe of like what Batman's gonna look like, or or something like that. Um, so yeah, um, tomorrow w when when that gets uploaded, we're probably gonna know what's gonna you know gonna happen Thursday too. So pretty much, people who are dating mine like they're they're like, it you know they're gonna be ahead of the curve by like a day. And normally I wouldn't look at that stuff, but I'm just I am because I. I can't wait. Besides, like, this isn't big information, anyways. Cause like, I don't know, man. Like as soon as I can view what I'm going to, cause I don't know. But I, I, I don't personally, you know, go into that myself. And I wouldn't go. I don't go out of my way to look for it. Like it just like appears on my timeline from like from like the people, in in, in like the Arkham community that that I like follow. So I mean, that's that. It's it's cool to know that in less than a week. It's finally, it's finally happening. I'm gonna, even though it's not gonna be like an Arkham game, like you know, you know, and like, and like the canon, and just like you know, just like overall, I'm still gonna count it as part of like, like the series, sort of. I don't know. Like that makes sense, right? Because like, it's 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 still gonna be like 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 a Batman game, most likely in in like the like the same vein of the Arkham ones. I don't know. I I I guess I'll wait and see, but assuming it's gonna be like like it's gonna play as one, just with like a different story and canon and title. I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna consider a part of and a part of like the series, but you know I I could I I might stand corrected. Ooh, you know we shall see, we shall see, and I think something that was interesting was that pe when people were uh, looking into the code, like I. They, they found some kind of like 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 number or coding. I don't remember exactly what they found, but but they found like something in like the coding, and when they looked it up, on Google like 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 the numbers or like the code or whatever it was, um, it it brought them to a bunch of images of um, um of the comic that had Batgirl's first appearance. So people are thinking that either Batgirl's gonna have a like a really significant role in the game. And judging by what some of the leaks that have been semi-correct so far, like the whole Bat family is gonna be playable, and in this game's gonna be Batman, Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing. I mean, that's not confirmed, but that's just what some people have been saying, right? But people are, are currently theorizing that either you know Batgirl's gonna have like a, signif a, a significant role, or it's gonna be like a Batgirl game, and not a Batman game. 
And I would be like a little disappointed if it was a back row game. Only because we've been led up to believe this whole time that it was a Batman game. Like a Batman game. If it was a Roger from the get go being teased as a Batgirl, I wouldn't have a problem because I like Batgirl, right? But it's just, but it could, it could not be. I mean, we'll see. I mean, if it's a Batgirl game, I'm still gonna be excited. I'm gonna so I'm still gonna get the game day one. I'm that's still gonna be like a great game. I don't have any doubts about that. There's nothing personal against Batgirl. I I think she's great, um, a great character, but. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it could be like a like a split game between Batman and Batgirl. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Um, so yeah. Um, I mean, really, all I want from the game is just. I I I just want the world to be vibrant. I just want really. I just. I I just want like goods. I just want side quests that are like fulfilling, and I just I I just don't want just like I'm a. I don't. I don't want them to be like repetitive. It's as much as I love Arkham Knight. It's my favorite in the Arkham series. Some of the side quests, you know, are are a little just repetitive and annoying. Like the one with like Firefly, where you you you, you just um uh, you, you just chase him with the Batmobile. Every sense of building not fire. It's the same exact thing every time, and it's also just not that fun for me. Um, I mean Riddler was interesting in Arkham Knight, but there were just too many trophies, and I don't like how you had to get every single trophy to beat him in the boss fight. Which is why I n- I've never been Riddler in Arkham Knight, um, just because there's just so much, and it sh- that sh- it just it just isn't fun to me. I do feel a little, you know, a little, you know, incomplete, you know, just like knowing that I haven't done it. But it's like I'd rather just not waste my time <laughs> with that. I mean, obviously, Joker doesn't seem like he's going to be a main villain, and I hope, and I, I really hope not, because like a lot of people, you know, when people are looking at the Arkham series, you know, critiquing it, you know, from like a critical standpoint, a lot of their, um, uh, you know, criticism is as 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 how significant Joker is, you know, like overall in every single game, like people got sick of him. Now, personally, I never got sick of him per se. But I completely get where people are coming from. Um, I mean, the thing is, I mean, I don't see how people can hate on him, you know, on his... I mean, I don't, I don't think people do hate on his roles in Asylum and City, the first two games. Because, I mean, it, you know, the first thing for Asylum, you know, like, it's Joker. Of course you're going to go with, like, a Joker story. And then it, it just continued in Arkham City, and it, it was done, like, really well. It wasn't forced. In fact, even though Joker was the main villain of Arkham City, he really wasn't in the game a whole lot, like, in retrospect. Like, if you go back and play it, you'll see he's not in the game, like, a lot, even though, just even despite being the main villain. Now, his role in Origins, I do think that was... Even though I personally, um, like, I, I, I was fine with that. I was like, okay, you know, I, I still love the game. I would have been fine without Joker, it's just for me a lot of the time I just I just don't care about like a lot of like stuff like that like I like I, I I'm not just like I don't like you know support every single thing that's in the Arkham series just because it's like my favorite game series and now like I'm not like like I, I'm I'm not like some kind of like blind fanboy or whatever I just I literally just, I just don't care if it, <laughs> half the time um, his role in Arkham Knight. It was, you know, because he only really died in Arkham City, spoiler alert. But he, you know, he, he he's just like a hallucination in, in Arkham Knight. And while, like, you, you don't really, like, fight him necessarily. I mean, you do, but it's, like, it's all, it's, like, hallucin, you know, it's, like, it's, it's hallucination type shit, right? And, I don't know, I, I feel like his role, well... Again, I personally enjoyed it in Arkham Knight. I I would have been fine without it, and I see why people um uh, are against it. But overall, man, I I liked it. It's, I, don't know, I guess unpopular opinion. So yeah, um, I'm okay with Joker being involved in this new game, just not the main villain. But also not. I don't really want him to be like a side quest necessarily, because like. Having Joker as a side quest just seems weird. Like, he's not a side quest type character. So, I guess, I, I, I like, for his role in the game, if he is going to be, if he's not involved in the game whatsoever, c- completely fine by me. But if he is, the only role I would want to have him in, because at this point, I, I, did, I, did, I did just say, like, I don't really care. I liked his roles in the games, which is true. 
but I, I really don't want to see it again. Like, I, 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 I'm content with, you know, the amount we've had. At times, it was a little too much. Overall, I'm okay with it, but I won't, I won't lie. There were at times where it was kind of, eh. Like, it, it really could have, it could have chilled. They could have chilled with Joker. But at this point, like I said, I've, I, like, any more, that's when I'd really start being like, all right, yeah, this is for sure too much. I'm, I'm easy to just, to just stop and, and chill with that. All right, so what I want is maybe just, like, just Easter eggs or, or maybe just, a, like, like, a very small cameo or something. Like, I don't, I don't want to be, like, like, like a main or side villain. Like, j- 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 just maybe cameos. And I think WB Games, they're aware of this, especially, you know, because they, like, they did certainly catch some shit for, you know, their involvement, you know, with Joker and Origins, like, that whole plot twist, because he wasn't really marketed as the main villain, but he became the main villain, and I do think it was, that, it was a bit ridiculous how he dealt with them. It wasn't necessarily, like, the fact that they have an Origins that I was, that I, I was, like, eh, with, it was, like, it was just, like, the way they had him in there. I don't know. Like, they could have done much better. So, I, I, I just want just, like, like just, like, a really solid story. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, like, like I, I'd hope for it to be, like, amazing or phenomenal. But I definitely say I'm more gameplay. I, I, I pay more attention to, like, to gameplay when I play the Arkham games. I mean, I'm, I most certainly pay attention to, like, the story. Like, like I know, like... Like all the story shit. It's just if I had to choose, I'd personally want like a little more in gameplay. And I mean, the Arkham games—they've only gotten better in gameplay as like as like as they um uh, you know progress. Like Arkham Knight had the best gameplay in my opinion out of any of the Arkham games. And and Arkham Asylum had—I do like it because it was simple and nice. So I so I'm not gonna say worse, but it was just like the least good. Um, you know, it, it they literally just improved every single game. Although. I don't. I don't know if the origins actually like the, like the, the electric shock was in origins. I'd say that kind of made it better than the uh, city combat overall. Besides that, the city and origins combat are pretty much like the exact same thing. So that's you know that's whatever you can. You know you you, you can you can feel whatever way about that. I'm sorry. I've been stuttering a lot this this episode. I'm I'm still getting used to to talking like this it's gonna take it's it's gonna probably take a little while so bear with me as, as i get better with my speaking skills like a podcast and more you know structured manner you know the way i'm talking and all that so yeah um i mean i'll, I'll keep talking about it um uh i mean i mean for, obviously if like for like predictions i just hope everything is good that's not or that's that's hopes not predictions i really don't have any predictions um i mean i i I mean, I, 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 like everything. I, 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 I just don't. I just, I just don't see anything, like realistically, like happening that like I want. So I'm just, not, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna put in my predictions. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just gonna see what they give, and I'll, I'll just determine if I like it. And based off that, I'd be like, oh, it would have been nice if they, you know, did this. Cause it'll be the same thing either way. Cause even if I were to predict before, it wouldn't. They wouldn't just halt uh, gameplay this close. I'm like, oh, this this random dude, fucking, he he, he wants this villain. And he wants the side quest, and we, like, we, we need to halt production and just get to it. Yeah, I hope sh- everything is really great, and um, uh, I again, I can't wait for the trailer, and I will talk about it as soon as the sh- it, it's it's revealed. That's that that's that man. Okay. So I, I guess that's it. There isn't really anything else gaming wise going on. I don't believe. Um, I mean, what's co- I mean, Paper Mario came out. I didn't play it. I don't know anything about it. Uh, Pikmin Three Deluxe was announced for Switch. I've never played Pikmin, but that's cool for uh, Pikmin fans. Um, I, I just can't say anything about those. Besides that, I don't even know what the hell's been happening in the gaming world. Cause that, eh, I don't know. They're, they're just again. The only thing I'm really paying attention to right now is the new Batman game, and I guess the uh, the Suicide Squad, uh, the Suicide Squad game from Rock City. I'll be I'll be looking into that game too. That'll be talked about it at also a DC fandom. So not only are we gonna get the Batman game there, we're gonna get the Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad the game from Rock City. So it'll be a really cool event. Uh, I just need to figure out the times of what's being revealed and talked about when, because I don't want to watch. The, I only care about those two games. I don't care about like a, like 
the comics. No offense. I mean, I, I, I like comics. I have a good comic collection. I just don't... I'm not into them like that. I just collect them here and there. I went through, like, a big phase of collecting them in, like, 2017, 18, 16-ish. Kind of, kind of those years. So, so I have, like, a pretty cool collection right now. So, like, I mean, I respect the comics. I'll still keep up with them here and there. But I really don't care to watch information about it on, like, a live stream. It's just not something that really, you know, piques my interest. So... I guess that's it, man, for gaming. Um, I mean, th there's uh, the Avengers beta that came out. I haven't played it. I've seen some gameplay. It just... I was really excited. I, w I was really excited for it at first, but it just kind of looks like a... Kind of generic, like, like hack and slash. Like, you know, just... Oh, just just, just just kill these basic enemies. It just doesn't, it doesn't look that special. I mean, it looks like a, like, like, like a fun experience. Something that you can enjoy. But I feel like it's something they can only play like once, and then after that you're like, well, it's kind of like repetitive. But um, I'll see. I wish the beta was on Xbox. I think it's on PS4, and I have one, but I don't know if it's like PlayStation Plus or whatever. And that, that's a whole thing. I haven't played it though, but it looks like a like a pretty just fun game. But judging not again, it's just the beta, so I'm not I, I'm not gonna I can't judge the game as like a whole, obviously, since I haven't even played. Just based off what I've seen, it looks a little just. It could be more, but we'll see. I'd love to be think. I would love to, you know, uh, to to be wrong about that. Only time will tell. Okay, now let's move on to uh, some music stuff. I want to talk about just like a few of my my uh, my favorite uh, rap albums this year. I I have listened to um uh, quite a, like a, a a lot of um uh, or I don't say that, like a lot, but like. A good bit of non-new rap albums from this year, but I I'd have to formulate my my my, my thoughts on those more, because I I need to look through like like my whole list and like I'd also probably need to release and re-listen to some stuff because I've really only been on like a kind of like like a, a rap kick. I mean, it is it is my favorite genre ever, so it's always gonna be like the majority. But like, it's just been like even more than usual lately. I haven't had time to really get to other genres because I haven't really well, felt like it, I guess. So yeah, let me talk about a few of of, of um uh, just some rap projects I really love this year. I'm not gonna name every single one, just the ones that have really I'm on peak my interest. So and first, I am gonna go just with like ones that like I liked. I thought were like, were, like really solid. That, like then then I'll get to my my, my uh, top tier. I'm talking about like like rap album of the year contender ones. I only have like like a couple of uh, like like uh, contenders. Not gonna lie, there aren't a ton of feeling super strongly about. Like uh, there's only been like three. There's only three. I'll I'll just say that now. Only three have made it are still my uh, rotation often now since they've come out. Again, there are some really solid ones that I really do like, and I do listen to some songs off like often, just not like on like the, the way I do with like my uh, top tier ones. It feels weird to talk. It's gonna be it's gonna be weird talking about like my like top tier albums, like um uh, before my wrap up on the year video that I'll do in December, or you see, cause I I have my uh, Mecom Music TV channel like. That 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 was before I uh, I started this whole podcast, right? It was pretty much like a like a side channel, you know, just you know, separate from my like streaming gaming thingy, right? It was just a separate channel where I would just talk about just like music related like news, and I'd I'd give like like I I you know I made like a couple like like top ten favorite songs of the year, like you know, rap, you know, I I did I've done two rap album of the year videos so far, and so for this year, I don't know if I'm gonna do. I, I don't know if I'm really going to be doing that channel much anymore now that I have this. Because, like, all the stuff I can say in there, I can I also want to get... And since it's not a podcast, like, I don't have the Mika Music TV on Spotify really or anything. It's it's just, like, YouTube stuff. It's just, I don't want to compare myself to them because I don't really like them. But I guess it's sort of some, like, borderline DJ academics type content. And, again, I don't like... <laughs> I don't like DJ... I don't like DJ academics much, so that's... Uh, I don't know. I mean, but his, his content itself isn't isn't bad. I I, I respect his like the content itself. Just him as a as a dude. That's a that's a different thing though. So yeah, I I don't know if like all the content that because I haven't uploaded on there like in like a while, right? So I don't know if I should just you know like continue doing like stuff on that or if I or if I should 
or if I should just talk about that stuff on here now. I, I haven't decided yet. Um, I might, I got, I, I might do both. I got, like, I might just talk about, like, if I do, if I do do, like, a rap album of the year, um, I think on here, it's gonna be, the whole episode is gonna be, like, just that, because that's what it's been for the, uh, uh, you know, that's what it was, like, when, when I did it on YouTube, it, it was, just, they are both, like, an hour long, like, like, each year, and I was just, just, I was just talking about all those albums, and that's, that's what happened with that. Alright, so, I, I haven't, I haven't said what I'm gonna do yet, I still have many, you know, many a months. I mean, I mean, I, I only have many a months, like, just for, like, the rap thing, because I, I still, like, you know, I still have the dilemma if, where, if I, if I want to make it, if I want to talk about someone, if I'm going to do it there, or if I'm going to talk about it on here. I haven't decided yet. Um, I guess we'll see. I guess I'm already kind of doing it now, because if I wasn't doing this, I probably wouldn't make, like, a video talk about my, like, favorites this year so far. So I guess I'm doing it right now, but I haven't, you know, made a full decision for the future. I guess. I just made a new note document by accident. Sorry, I was looking at my folder. Okay. Alright, so let me just talk about just some of, like, the like the really solid ones that I that aren't in my, like, rotation, you know, like, every day, like, my top tier ones are, but just, you know, just some. Okay, let's see, let's see. Funeral by uh, Lil Wayne. Ugh. I... I, I, I honestly, I don't listen to any songs off of it now. I haven't listened to it in, like, a while. I just think it was a, a bit oversaturated. I mean, obviously, Wayne, he was, you know, his his rapping was was, was very good on it. His lyricism is obviously um, uh, insane. It always has been, and it still is. It's just, I don't know. He just, ha he just hasn't been making, like, much, you know, a lot of great, mu like, music overall. You know, it's something where you want to go back to. It's really just like a lot of just like, like oh okay like uh, that that was like like, like a pretty good, uh, that was like a pretty just like solid you know yeah you know, there, there, there there were some solid bangers on it, then you just kind of never really go back except for maybe like a couple songs, there are maybe like one or two that I listen to um, semi often, um, it's probably just like the opening track and gone and, and our Russian roulette on the deluxe with uh, Benny and Conway, um that, that that's really it. Honestly, and I, I, it sucks. I do wish it was, it was, it was just too long. Also, I feel like it was shorter. There are a lot of tracks that most certainly could have been cut, but I'm pretty sure he actually. Let me go check. Um, let me check one thing on it real quick. I believe he did 24 songs. Let me. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. You're gonna hear me typing and clicking again. Um, okay. So I'm pretty sure he. There, there, there are 24 tracks on it. I'm pretty sure he, he did that for uh, for uh, for Kobe because that was that was like his jersey number for uh, the Lakers, right? Co uh, I don't keep up with basketball, so I'm I'm I I I know there are some people who would be infuriated that I'm even making sure, but I'm pretty sure yeah he was with the Lakers. I'm sorry, I just want to be like extra careful. Like I I I, sw I swear I knew I, I swear I knew he was for the Lakers. I just don't keep, I just don't keep up with uh, with basketball much pretty much so yeah so I, I guess i get that as a cool like memorial thing so i guess i i, I guess i really can't critique that because he had his own personal reasons for that which i completely get but it, it just it just wasn't that i'm uh that 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 a solid to me overall i mean it, 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 it was just like good it was it was okay i was just expecting way more i guess again it was just oversaturated but i i can't be you know Again, for his re reasoning, so. Um, okay, let's see, let's move on. Um, The Allegory by Royce of 5'9, okay. So, Royce of 5'9 is one of my top 10 rappers, like, of, of, of all time, okay? I, I He's he, he's incredible to me. Book of Ryan is one of my favorite rap albums ever. It's my favorite album from 2018, you know, you know if you go back to my my 2018 rap album of the year video it was it was number one of course and so I, naturally i was really looking forward to the allegory right and let me preface this but by i really do like the project I, I i do go back to it way more often than um than a funeral that's for sure but it would it, it would it just it didn't live up to as you know some of the hype for me it, it it's 
I guess the thing is, because, like, Booker Ryan, it's, like, it's like a, a very personal album, like, uh, you know, like, of Royce himself and, like, his childhood and all that. But Allegory, it, it was more, like, um, like, it, it was super deep. But just in like a different sense, like it was, it was super deep into like uh, like politics, and um, uh, just like, like like the world, like 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 racial injustice, just like like political struggles. It's just it's just like a very like like society. It's just like a very in depth look on on like on on like society and politics, and um uh, and just kind of like a lot of like the messed up things that that go on in our country that are you know. And that, that just go under like the radar, you know, things that like like, like the government that are, are okay with it. It's, it. it it's super deep, just not in the sense that I prefer, because, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, like I'm into like deep stuff like that. It's just I don't know, like in music, and especially in comparison to Book of Ryan, I don't want to compare it too much because this is like a different, you know, it's a different entity, it's a, it's a different body of work. He's approaching different topics, so I can't compare it too much. I feel like, but it is, you know, just another album by the same guy at the end of the day. So obviously, you can most certainly compare, but just if you're getting down to like, like the nitty gritty and like of like topics and you know and themes, the themes are extremely different. So that makes it like a little different, a, a little hard to compare them. But I'm I did most certainly prefer, um, you know, Book of Ryan. I, I it's it, it has been a little while since I listened to it like all the way through. So I think I think I'll give the whole album like like a, a way through. But there are um uh, like a few tracks that are my um uh, my uh, rotation often, like uh, like Pendulum, um on the block, Overcomer, Those Shall, Forest Bias or Fubu. I want to say with Kyle. That's my favorite song on the album. Upside Down with Royce, Tricked with King Crooked, um. Rhinestone do rag. I mean, there are a lot of extremely, you know, solid tracks on it, and I don't think. Again, the thing is, like with Wayne, I have like actually like a, like a lot of critiques, not a lot, but I have like quite you know quite a few, I guess overall. But for allegory, it's one of those things where it's like it's, it's most certainly not bad. Like you don't have like 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 either like hardly little, or like nothing really bad to say about it. It just personally doesn't like click with you like a whole bunch. That, it's one of those things to me. That's kind of how I feel with like um uh, with like like uh to pimp a butterfly with Kendrick. It's like obviously like musically, like it's it's not bad at all. Like it's amazing. It's just personally like a lot of it just doesn't stick with me. It doesn't stand out to me. It doesn't make me wanna go back to it all the time. Also, sorry, I keep adjusting my mic. I feel like this episode's a mess, but that is all right. Mm, let's see. So yeah, I mean, I mean, again, it's a, it's a very solid. Like a lot of the, a lot of the ones are still in my rotation. Just overall, I was expecting a bit more, but again, it's still, it's still an amazing project. It might it might be one of my best. I'll, I'll have to give it another um, like sh- like straight up like fall and listen to it. You know, to um to see if it's gonna be like an album of the year contender. But so like, again, right now I have two. So if I had to do like a like a like 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 like, like a super small like semifinal bracket, which is four albums. If I had to pick one, you know, just to have it at four, I, I would pick the allegory as as of right now. Um, but there are other albums coming out this year. Um, Percy T in China by Bully James and Alchemist. Well, I'm not gonna really talk about that one because it's not one of my favorites. Like it was for most people. A written testimony by Jay Electronica. Overrated. It wasn't that good. Lulu by Conway and Alchemy. Okay, sorry. Okay. Okay, here we go. Pray for Paris by Westside Gun. See, my initial listen of it was like, oh, this is this is most certainly like for a minute it was my uh, my second favorite album of the year, um, behind the first one, which you know I will get to, and as time went on, I wouldn't say it is. I'd say it's pretty damn close. Actually, I might, I might have Pray for Paris and the Allegory on like the same level, just about. So if I, if I had to, you know, like choose like a fourth one, if I, you know, it's for like for like the like the semifinal bracket, um, it it would be a hard choice between those. So hopefully there's some more albums so I can have like a bigger bracket. So I don't have to worry about choosing one just for you know for it being even to have like an easier bracket, right? 
Um, so pray for Paris was what is uh, it's 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 ama- it's it's amazing. It's um, um West Side Guns. Um, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it, it's it's his it's his. He hasn't had a project since Hitler wears Air May Seven. I'm I'm trying to see. I don't, I don't know if if I prefer it over Hitler Seven. Um. Honestly, I I probably do prefer Hitler Seven, but by a pretty small uh, margin. Yeah, I, yeah. Honestly, I, I do prefer Hitler Seven by a small margin, but Pray for Paris is. But it, I would say it's. But it is better than um uh, his second album he put out this year. Fly God is an awesome god too. Um, that that was a really solid album that I still have a you know a good a good few tracks in my in my rotation like a lot of the time, but I it's. A Fly God is an awesome God too. Is not you like a uh, album of the year contender. Pray for Paris is more of one than um uh, than uh, awesome God too. Um, I mean I mean Pray for Paris. You know it has a uh, no vacancy. It has George Bondo three twenty seven French Toast Euro Step Alice sent me five hundred ounces for sauce. Clairborn cake. Sean for the flair. Okay, I, wow, actually, look at the checklist. Pretty for Paris is a lot more stacked than I remember it being. Um, damn, I, I'll, I'll also give... Th- th- there are a couple songs I haven't heard in this in a minute, like Party with Party with Pop Smoke and uh, 500 Ounces. I actually, I, I'm surprised I haven't heard 500 Ounces again in a while. I think that's more so because I'm, I'm not a big fan of Unrock Marciano. Um... But I, like I'm, but okay. So if I were announces, it's it's West Side Gun, Freddie Gibbs, and Rock Marciano. Um, I, like I, I'm like a really big uh, Freddie Gibbs fan. So, like I I would think it'd be my rotation more. But I don't know, Rock Marciano. Obviously, he, he, for you got for you guys who don't know, he's more of like a kind of like an underground rapper. But he's he's kind of like from at least for us, he's kind of halted as as kind of like like the, like the king of underground rap he's probably the most like well like most recognized um underground rapper but he's most certainly not mainstream at all so i'd say you know calling him underground is still you know very fitting i haven't listened to any of his projects all the way through but i've heard him in a lot of features and i just i don't know just his, his, just his like delivery and flow and voice it doesn't go to it doesn't go well together for me personally i've tried man um again again like his lyricism is 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 incredible that's something i I can't fault him on whatsoever but overall i just i don't know he doesn't he just doesn't click with me so i guess why i don't listen to that one a lot because i don't like i'm not a big rock marciano fan um i mean pray for paris it's insane my favorite song is probably george um uh george bondo or you know um 327 is really good, but obviously I'm I'm a really big, you know, also Conway and Benny fan. I just think it's just like, like a classic song with all of them. Um, damn, 327 is Westside Guns more stream song on Spotify. That actually doesn't surprise me at all because that's Tyler the Creator and Joey Badass on it. I mean, any song you find with Tyler is gonna be popular because Tyler's a very popular artist right now. I mean, he's been, you know, he's been for like a while, but he's you know he's He's, his fame hasn't gone down at all, at least in like a long time. It's, you know, it's only growing, honestly. So, um, that that was solid. Um, Interfere by Tech Nine. Yeah, that 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 project was a bit of a letdown. Um, there the, there are like only like a couple songs that I, like maybe like one or two that I play semi often. That one could have been better. Um, No One Mourns the Wicked by Conway, produced by a Big Ghost. That project was a little. Yeah, honestly, it's probably I don't know if I prefer because Conway he so he, he's put out like uh like two up or you know like like twenty to to twenty five minute like EP albums whatever you want to call them this year, but Lulu with Alchemist and No One Mourns the Wicked with a Big Ghost. I say Big Ghost is like a you know it was handled the production, and Alchemist handled the production on Lulu because Alchemist didn't rap on it. He is he, Alchemist is a, a part time rapper. He raps sometimes, but not. not I wish he rapped more because I think he's re- I think he's a really good rapper personally. But you know, I don't know if I prefer No One Mourns the Wicked or Lulu. Probably. Ugh, I'll think about that. That's not the point. None of them are in, in my, my top albums, even though I do think they're really solid. Um. 
Uh, yeah, I... Okay, there, there's, um... Uh, Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon by uh, Pop Smoke. Dude, honestly, that might be one of my album of the year contenders. My uh, rap album of the year is... I... Honestly, I think this year, I think I'm definitely, I'm, I think I'm definitely gonna have enough to have like a bigger bracket. Cause in the past years, I've only had like four albums like total that were that I like, considered at that tier. But I, yeah, I'm, I'll be able to have more for sure. So I really think I'm uh, shoot for the stars and aim for the moon is gonna be one of them. That project was in, was really good. Um, you know, Pop Smoke, the late, is, is this for some, uh, posthumous album, uh, you know, obviously, you know, rest in peace, Pop Smoke, and I'd say it's his best project compared to the first, um, to Meet the Woos, but the only thing is, well, I, I, I definitely do prefer, um, uh, you know, like, Shoot for the Stars, um, uh, like, o overall his, you know, to his other, his, his first two projects, I do think his first two projects were definitely a lot more raw, because this this album since Pop Smoke he gained a lot of more traction after he died. That's what happens with like a lot of people. Um, and Fifty Cent executive produced you know this album you know the shoot for the stars right. So naturally it is gonna have more of like a mainstream sound which it did. Uh, I mean it 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 did have um a, like a good bit of, uh, of his like classic you know like uh, like like a. Uh, kind of like grime like drill rap you know style um it, it could have had more of it on this project there were definitely like a few songs on here that i am um, uh that i that i just I, I just didn't save but i think like like uh like the highlights on it are you know do put it above his, his first two uh mixtapes which I think if anything it's it's competition if it does if it did have competition it, it'd probably be with uh meet the woo 2 meet the woo 2 might be a little i don't know I, i'm gonna put you for the stars above it just because i mean oh, don't forget meet the woo 2 came out this year as well so if i do end up preferring meet the woo which i'll have to listen to both of them again i mean as of now i prefer you know shoot for the stars so I don't know. Meet the Woo Two could could be there. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. She was stars. I mean, it, it had like, um, um, forty four Bulldog, Aim for the Moon with Quavo. Even the the intro, Bad Bitch from Tokyo. Even though it's like a really short song, was good. Make it rain is, is is amazing. The Woo with Fifty Cent and Roddy Rich. That's a pretty solid song. But my favorite, without a doubt, was the um was a Galarami, which was um it well it, like the like the chorus it's it's um uh, it's the 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 Fifty Cent Many Men Wish Death chorus. That song is it's my favorite Pop Smoke song. It's that song is just I don't know that that song's crazy to me. Um and then there's also the the uh, deluxe version of the album. I don't listen to all the songs. I'll, I'm gonna be honest. I listen to like uh. I I listened to uh to most of them. There were just some that just I skimmed through them real quick, and I just I could just tell that this that the sound just wasn't at all for me. Um. So that's why I didn't. But I listened to a good bit of them. Um, I'm not surprised that they did that they did a that they did a deluxe, but that's you know that's fine. Um. So yeah, that album was crazy. Rest in peace, of pop smoke. Um. Legend, Legends Never Die by Juice, by Juice World. I really liked the first listen, but mm, a lot of things were just the same to me. Um, I mean, Conversations is really good. Man of the Year, Wishing Well. Those are all solid songs, but overall, the project was a little... Eh. Um, uh, no Pressure by Logic. Uh, that... You see, I... I'm I'm like a pretty big Logic fan. And this is how I'm, I've been you know listening to him since like 2015. Is you know like the rapper I've been into like the longest, honestly. Either like him or actually, I'm not really into Drake anymore. I mean I I am I'm, I'm not into as I'm not into as much in Logic now as I was like you know my first couple years listening to him. 
but I still listen to everything he puts out. I don't listen to everything Drake puts out. So I'm definitely more of a, like of like a Logic fan than Drake now. I still I I still consider myself like a pretty like a pretty big uh, Logic fan despite despite the hate he gets. I do consider him like like kind of up there like maybe not on like an all time list necessarily, but just like I he's still just one of my personal favorites just because of like. I still think he puts out solid music, despite his last two albums before No Pressure were pretty, ugh, pretty bad. But that's okay, because No Pressure was definitely his best album probably since uh, The Incredible True Story from twenty fifteen. Um, I mean, the first Bobby, like the the the, the Bobby Tarantino tapes were really solid. Um, Young Sinatra Four was really good. Um, I mean, everybody, everybody was also really good. He, he's had, his, his only misses, in my opinion, have been Confessions of a Dangerous Mind and Supermarket, but I still do think that No Pressure honestly might be his best, um, um, his best album since his 2015 album. Um, I do think, I do think it does have some competition, but I don't, I'll have to think about that again until another time. But no pressure is really solid. There's, there's only like one feature on it, or like, and it's one of his like his artists. I wish I do wish he had more features on the album, but this was a sequel to his 2014 debut album, not his debut project, because he said he had mixtapes before, but like his debut album, um, uh, under pressure, and so this album obviously it, it's like a sequel to it. So because like, that's his first album, and then you know no pressure is his final album. So you know it it makes sense, right? You know to kind of. Kind of, to kind of close up, you know, like that whole, like, you know, his career with that. And, I mean, it was really good. Like, um, I hit my line, open my Aquarius 3, Soul Food 2, Dad Bod. Um, heard him say is, is my favorite song on the album. Definitely. That's honestly one of my favorite Logic songs ever. That song is just insane. Um, there were, I, I do think at parts he played it like a little too safe, but overall it was really solid i haven't determined if it's one of my top albums of the, of the year yet um i wouldn't say it quite is but ex- you know i'm extremely solid um i guess since, since i'm getting close to kind of ra- kind of wrapping like things up kind of semi soon i'm not gonna be going uh much longer um i'll okay here, here's what i'll say um so pretty much, I'm gonna get into my my uh, my my top three like contenders like so far. Okay, so I'm gonna start with I'm just gonna order of of when of when they uh when of when they of when they came out and shit. So let's start with Eminem music to be murdered by that bro. Oop, my mic fell as I said that. Okay, I promise. Eminem, uh, I've said he he is my my uh, my favorite rapper ever, right? I I promise this isn't my bias. I know you might not believe me, and that would be understandable if you didn't believe me. But as of now, I do have contenders. But I'd probably say as of now, it is my like favorite album this year so far. I probably should, I probably shouldn't say that. I should probably say that for the um, uh, you know the the like the the. the, the podcast or video or whatever but hey it's subject to change i'm just saying what it is as of now i mean i also have the bias aside that it, that it, that surprise dropped on my birthday i promise that those biases are aside you can choose to believe me but it's just the most it's just the most solid and thought out project i listen to the most still um throughout the whole year it's it's been out since january I, i'm like I, last month I, I did have like a little bit of a break where i only listened to like uh, a a few song a couple songs here and there Cause i did I, I did get a little bur- burnt out but it, it came back like heavy for this month my um uh, my urge to listen to it or whatever right like it, it came back strong now like pretty much almost every every song is back in like rotation for me right now it's so it, it's just so solid man like he like there's only like one song that I, like, oh well, probably I guess maybe like three if you kind of like like their relationship songs. Um, okay, okay. Besides the relationship songs, which I've never really been big, been big into with M, so that's not really a surprise. Not every single song is on my rotation, but there's only like there's only like a few small that aren't. So besides the relationship ones, I'd say the one. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
Also the one with a Don Tolliver, but that's nothing to do with Eminem. That's Don Tolliver, because I don't like him. I just... The song overall actually is a little eh, even without Don, Don Tolliver. So it's a little mid, but Don Tolliver just makes it even more. I just, I just, I just, I just don't like him. Um, I don't, I don't like his, his voice person. And the one with uh with, with Skylar Gray. Um, and actually the reason that I don't listen to that one much, that one much is not because of Skylar Gray. It's because of M. I don't like his flow on that song. I feel like for his like subject matter, which is some like pretty important stuff, you know, he's talking about like, his dad and his like career and retrospect for part, you know, for part for parts of it here and there. I feel like I he, he did I don't I don't like his his, his like choppy rapid fire flow on that song. Sometimes I like it overall. I honestly don't like the flow, but it, it just really just did not go over good on this song at all, in my opinion. Um, I don't know what he's saying on half of it, because he, he's just going too intricate, he's, you know, I, I get it, he's going for, like, you know, like, 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 the syllables and all that cool shit, like, I get it from, like, from, like, a pure rapping standpoint, it's, it, it's really good, so that, that's why when I, when I'm hearing, like, a rapper talk, like, you know, rap fast, I'm not big into fast rap, I, I, I mean, I, 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 I can dig some of it, but, like, I don't want, I don't like to hear it, I don't like, that to be like, like the entire thing for like a song if it's gonna be there i want to be just like like uh, like like a like like a, just like like a small chunk in like the beginning middle or end i don't want the whole song to be like that i don't like the spy songs that, that are like that it's just i mean that's just my like overall preference honestly when it comes to that so pretty much okay the thing is with that is like when i'm hearing a rapper rap fast i don't really want them to be like i, I want to hear just to see their like ability like i don't want them to be talking about you know like some like i don't want them to be like talking like deep you know like you know like getting deep and fast rap because i don't understand what they're saying when it's fast rap. i just like to hear it sometimes just to kind of just to hear like like, like, like like just to hear like how like insane it is how some people can just go that fast, and I I want to hear like 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 just for that like like whoa like this is crazy like they're talking fast. I don't I want to be able to actually know what they're saying without looking at the lyrics. So that's that's where my issue is, and that, that, that's the thing with leaving heaven. I don't know what he's saying like a lot of the time. I mean I've looked at the lyrics and know what he know what he's saying, but I don't you know I don't I don't memorize the lyrics. So for all I fucking know, you know, you know there, there could be something I'm still missing on, cause, you know. Who knows? But yeah, besides that, every single song is my rotation. Um, besides like those few, like bro, like you gonna learn like with Royce. But Royce is on three songs and he's amazing in all of them. He's a little eh, as weak as verse is as on yeah yeah. But even there, he's he, he's he's sort of, like really good. Bro, he has like Black Thought on it, Young and May, all slaughter all slaughterhouse minus Joe Button. I do wish Joe Budden was on here, but, you know, A, Joe Budden's retired, and B, him and M are still in combo. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, it's gotten better. Like, I'm pretty sure Joe said on his podcast that they were working it out. But still, they're, they're, they're not, like, friends yet, necessarily. Like, he's not as cool with Joe as he is with, like, you know, Joel, you know, Crooked, and Royce. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it, it was still, regardless, just an amazing track, even without Joe. Although I do prefer Joe, because I used my second favorite member of Slaughterhouse. Um, I, 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 I used to be crook, but honestly, Joe just has, like, the better, like, solo material overall. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll stop for another day. I, I, so, I'll, I'll, I'll just drink Slaughterhouse members while well, I'm at it from best to worst. I, keep in mind, I like them all. Like, 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 like Joel, like, I, I, I still love Joel. I think he's really good. I need, I need to listen to more of all their solo stuff, though, if I'm being real. But, I still, I do know, I do know a good bit of it. But I need to learn more. So, best to worst, in my opinion. Royce, Button, Crooked, and Joel Ortiz. Again, I still think Joel Ortiz is, is amazing. He's, 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 a really, he's a really solid lyricist. I, I like the energy he always gives. I think Slaughter House is a really good group. And I don't think any of them are bad. But that's just my ranking, right? So, yeah, that's that. Uh, music, music to me, Murder by is incredible. I'll go more into depth about it. Um, uh, when I talk about it for my album of the, you know, rap album of the year, podcast or video, whatever it's gonna be. So yeah, now let's talk about the the the, the second one, Alfredo by Freddie Gibbs and the Alchemist, bro. Freddie Gibbs, he put out my favorite album, my favorite rap album from last year. You remember, I'm a, I'm a bandana. That's that's what ended up winning. 
or am I, I'm not tripping, am I, no, I'm not, yeah, it, it was Bandana, and Freddie Gibbs, he, honestly, he's probably in my, like, top, he's probably in my, like, top 10, that's, that's Chica for you, I, I don't know, like, he, he, he's for sure in my, like, top, like, top, like, five, like, currently, overall, I, I don't know where I'd put him, that's a, a different conversation, but right now, he's one, he's one of my favorites, and he has been for, like, He's he's been in my like current top five for like, literally since like like Bandana came out. It's it's been all like over a year since I've been like, you know, just like you know been like just, just been like like really digging his stuff, right? So, pretty much the thing is with that is it's a it's a it's a collaboration album with the Alchemist, and well, my mic fell. Sorry, God, I'm I'm still working on being professional. And the thing is with that is right. Not only does does like Freddie Gibbs like pretty much never miss. Neither does Alchemist. And I mean, Freddie Gibbs and Alchemist like they 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 have uh, linked up many times before. I mean, they they had the uh, the joint album. It was it was, um, uh, Gibbs, Alchemist, and Currency for uh, for a uh, Fetty. And so they they had a whole like um uh, like, I don't call it album. It wasn't it was only like twenty something minutes. But yeah, so this isn't like, like the first project that um uh, Freddie Gibbs has been on with like, Alchemist production across the whole thing, but but it it is like it is like the first like um uh, you know like one with like just the both of them across the whole project. Like, this is the first like just like just like you know just them, you know like project together. I doubt that was just the worst English ever. I'm sorry, but you get the point. So when this this album came out, it was it was like a surprise announcement. Um, it it wasn't like a surprise like release. It was just like it was it was announced that like the uh, like the uh, like the fucking like day before or like two days before, it, like it, it was only like a couple days before. Cause I I remember, um, I hearing about it like like the day before um uh, nineteen eighty five like the only single off it dropped. It, 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 it was only like, like 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 one or two days but before the project came out it was on it was very short notice which i i mean that it was really cool i was completely cool with that i i love when announcements are like just like whoa this thing is coming in this like super short amount of time and i'm like yeah that's dope so that album came so i listened to like the single when it came out actually uh, the times i listened to it like i i i was i was in like a I was in like like the middle of something, so I wanted I listened to it just because like it was out, and I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to listen to it just because it was out, because like my OCD was like it's like oh, it's out, you need to listen to it. So I didn't really get the process or hear much the first two times. So my only like true listen, really with it was when um, uh, was when the whole project came out, because like this like in nineteen eighty five it came out like Thursday um uh, Thursday afternoon, and the project dropped um uh, well at midnight like that night. So it was just like 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 si- like single, and now, like now you you just wait a few hours and then boom here's the album. So I th- I, th- I thought that was like a a, a kind of neat thing. So the, so the whole the project came out and I was very excited to listen to it, especially since it was a it was like a semi short project. It was only like like thirty something minutes, and I think that's like a like a great length for like an album. I remember I, I listened to it for the first time while while, while uh, playing uh, Minecraft Dungeon because that that game had just came out recently. At the time, and I was kind of, I was, I was, I was into that game a lot at the time. I haven't played it in a minute because it's got a little repetitive and boring, but that's all right. So, so the whole project, and it's, I mean, I, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just Freddie Gibbs, like his rapping is obviously amazing on it. Um, his, I mean, the, the, the production, dude. It's, it's Alchemist and Freddie Gibbs. If, 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 if you listen to him, like you know, you know. Like like like, you just know. Like if, it, like like for them is, I don't know. Um, the features um uh, were amazing. Rick Ross ha- had a a great verse. Um, Conway, uh, and Conway is also one of my favorite rappers. Honestly, I think he's in my like top ten all time, or maybe even top five all time. Conway is incredible. He's one of my favorite. Just just straight up ever right. And again, like I'm a big, you know, you know Freddie Gibbs and Conway fan, and th- th- this is like their first time like like linking up on like a track. Oh, that's released publicly, anyways. And considering their like subject material and how and how hard they go a lot of time, I was expecting a little more, because it the song it was called Babies and Fools. It was pretty much the, them like just, like talking about situations with their like kids and like like baby mamas and stuff. So Conway was talking about. 
Um, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I was just expecting just like, like, like a little more because, you know, I, I was just expecting to be like a, a bit harder of a song. But there is another chance because on Conway's album next month from King to a God, he has a song with uh, with Freddie Gibbs on there. So we have, you know, there's going to be another collaboration between them and I can't wait. And I was, I was, I was, I was watching a, a podcast interview with, with, with Conway that just came out today. And he, he was talking about how like... like they they talked about about doing like like a tape together before like a whole like um like mix like mixtape album and I would I would love to see that I don't know if that'll happen because like like a lot of rappers have like you know I, I I've I've heard like a lot of time so many rappers I'm like oh yeah I'm uh, I'm doing this project with this one guy that never comes out and I mean Griselda guys they they would kind of like kind of just like nonchalantly kind of like like announce talk about new projects that are like you know possible or happening. My day, man, we've gotten so much Conway, that, you know, like already, like like this year. So if we don't, if we don't end up getting that, that's I guess that's all right. Maybe one day, maybe one day, but at least there'll be another collaboration between them next month. So yeah, Alfredo. I I don't I don't I don't know what else to say. It's 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 just it's just amazing, you know, the beats, um, uh, the rapping. It's I don't know. Freddie Gibbs doesn't miss, and neither does Alchemist. Okay, now let's talk about the third and final, uh, like, only, like, contender, like, I really have. And that is RTJ4, Run the Jewels 4 by, well, Run the Jewels, LP and Killer Mike. This is obviously their their fourth album, you know, I'm, uh, together in the duo Run, uh, Run the Jewels. It's the first one, It's it's been four years since, like, the last one, because, like, Run the Jewels 3 was in 2016, and... God, they they fucking delivered. Um, run, run the jewels again. They also they just don't miss. Their um uh, anonymous groups. All, all their albums are like, like are just incredible. Like even like my, my uh, least favorite by them. Um, like the first run the jewels. That's still like a, a very solid project that I really I don't I I really don't have any like complaints about it honestly. Um, uh, besides it's just like. A little like a little lackluster but it, again it was like their first album they were kind of like like finding like uh their footing and how they you know and that 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 is um uh i mean again that's acceptable but wait we're not here to talk about um uh, run the jewels one we're here to talk about run the jewels four bro and I'm, I'm just telling you just like i don't know man they're they're just like like they're both like 45 they're just fucking on top of their like rapping game, like LP, um, uh, obviously he has like an insane production, like the whole entire project, as he always does, because LP is honestly one of the best producers like of, of all time. Um, it's I don't bro, it's it's crazy because again, like like they're both like forty five, like their rapping ability has not gone down at all. If anything, it's gotten better. Like their 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 ability like to make like music has gotten better, in my opinion. Um, I, I don't know if, if I'm a RTG4 is my favorite on the Jewish project. Um, it's, it's, if, if, if not number one, it's number two. I'd have to think about it because there's they're just, it, it's hard because they're all so good. But like, I don't know, man, RTG4, like it has like Yankee and the Brave, it has Ooh La La, Out of Sight, Goonie vs. E.T., Just, which is my favorite song on the album. It's probably my favorite on the Jewel song. Honestly, the one with them, uh, Zach De La Roca. Or Rocha, I don't know how you say it. The guy from you know the lead singer off Rage, Rage Against the Machine, and with a uh, Pharrell Williams on the chorus. Then there's like, um, uh, pulling the pin. It's just, it's just, it's just so good. I don't know what to say. Like the production and and the rapping. So so did the same thing I said for Alfredo, but it's true. Obviously they're they're um, uh, what's 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 the word I'm looking for? They're um. Uh, they're um uh you know like they're like their chemistry their 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 chemistry I mean it's always been it's it's always been this good but it's just I don't know I feel like like after like four albums like like you'd probably maybe like think that like like at one point it, they kind of they kind of because a lot of time what happens like with, 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 with like like rap groups or duos like they kind of eventually like they they have like they start they start to get like created differences and they end up just like just not being able to work with each other as well as they used to but Ronald Jules they have only gotten better as time has gone on in my opinion like they like like they, they just keep getting it in their bag more every single album um 
honestly, I, I really think this is definitely in competition for, like, like, like the best from the Jules album. Because it's it's the shortest one, also, I believe. But it's... And I get, it's, 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 it's about, like, 39 minutes. It's just, like, solid. Like, it doesn't... It didn't need to go on for any longer. Um, you know, it shouldn't have been shorter. I think it was just, like, the perfect length. Um, they, they talk about, like, a lot of important stuff. It's just... And again, it, 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 a lot of those songs are in my rotation because... God, that production, dude. And just the rapping and the chemistry. I don't know. We're on the jewels, man. They never miss. So I guess those are some of my favorite rap albums from from the year so far. No, like, say what you want about 2020. I agree, you know, overall, you know, you know, shit year, obviously, right? But we've gotten so much good hip-hop music this year. Like, you know, again, bro, we've, we've had Eminem drop. We've had Royce drop. We've had, you know, West Side Gun drop several times. Nas is about to come out uh, with uh, with an album soon. Um, uh, with, uh, with Hit Boy, I can't wait for that, that should, that should be a solid album, probably be better, hope, it'll, it'll probably be better than Lost Tape too. that project was kind of mid, but that, that's okay, um, I mean, shit, I mean, I mean, Conway's dropped, and, bo- and both West Side Gun and Conway are, are dropping soon, Gun is dropping his, his, his a shady debut next Friday, I, can't wait he's seen it he, he's seen it's like his like best work yeah, i know most artists say that but like i like i really trust like i'm on west side gun i feel like it's gonna be better than pray for paris and awesome god too um then that, that's just that's my opinion i mean my favorite good album is supreme blind and tell i know for most people it's fly god but i prefer supreme blind and tell he 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 he's he, 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 he said in his announcement post for it where he announced the cover art he said that it's like it, it's it it's as if like Fly God to or sorry, if Fly God, the original Fly God album, and um, Supreme Blind Tell had a baby, pretty much, and that, that, I do I trust him. I say Gun, he's, he's 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 smart. He's a visionary. He, like he like he knows his art. He knows like he knows his shit. He knows his music. So I really trust him on this. Um, and then he's also dropping, you know, um, uh, Hitler Wears Armies Eight. Um, he's dropping Gun Lib. Um, he's supposedly dropping some other stuff, but I feel like those are, like, the ones that are for sure gonna happen. And, of course, um, uh, Conway, who, you know, he's my favorite Griselda member, personally. He's, you know, he's dropping From King to a God on 9-11 next month. It's kind of a weird day to drop it. But, alright, you know, go ahead, Conway. Um, also, I, we don't, we don't have the track list for Who Made the Sunshine, which is, um, West Side Gun Shady debut next week. And I feel like, I feel like we should get that soon. But I, I, also, I love the title of it, too, Who Made the Sunshine. That's just, just, it's just such, like, a a West Side Gun thing, and it's, and it's great, and, you know, for, from King to a God, so, you know, such a Conway thing, I, I mean, obviously, because it's their project, but I just, I just love it, um, and also Conway is, is dropping his, uh, his shady debut, God Don't Make Mistakes, this year, probably, I don't see why he wouldn't, like, that, that project's kind of been, like, um, um it's, it's been, like, the works for, like, like, a minute now, it's probably, just, it's probably, like, contract stuff, because, like, Again, like the Griselda guys, or you know, because only only Conway, and Wesley Gun, they're they're signed to, to Shady Records, right? Obviously, like, they're allowed. I mean, I mean, Benny isn't, but I mean, he was, you know, he, I mean, he, he he was all over, you know, what was Sheen Gun do, which is you know the first um uh, Gr- um uh, Shady Griselda project, you know, which had all three of them. Um, so like Westside and 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 Conway, they can drop their own solo stuff like like whenever they want because that's what they have in it. So they again they have like a really good deal, but like obviously they still do have to do their um their contract albums, which are like a bigger deal. And you know that's when it gets into the territory of like, of of, of like strategy of, of of like of of one like like label heads and people you know up like up at Shady Interscope have to be like, like like oh like 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 we can't release it like this Friday because this artist is releasing this. You know it's it's just like 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 like, like the marketing you know planning strategy right so that, that's what the, that's what they had to deal with with their um uh with like the shady albums but you know they can drop their own solo stuff you know like that's not shady like whenever they want so at least they have that so it's not like it's not all bad and i know benny is dropping burden of proof next month that's 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 his um uh, his, it's, it's gonna be his first album this year he hasn't dropped anything or any album since the, the plugs i met but he, he said he has like a he has like several albums coming out soon like 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 I said like ne- like next month he's he's dropping his new album uh, Burden of Proof I can't wait for that he has uh the plugs I met two coming he has Tana Talk four 
and five. He like he, I don't I don't know. Uh, he said in a tweet that w- when he releases Tana Talk four, he's gonna release Tana Talk five at the same time as like a double album. So that would be insane. Um, uh, I, I I don't think all those are coming this year though. I think I think I think I mean obviously Burden of Proof is coming next month. I feel like we might get one more Benny project this year, but hey man, if not, I'm I, I'm I'm okay with waiting for um uh for 2021 it's going to be quality i just hope Pl- plugs i met too is at least close to the plugs i met because plugs i met is probably my like is my like favorite griselda project out of any of the guys combined it's one of my favorite sh- like rap projects ever it's i don't know that project's insane to me so it has a lot to live up to and i've i've already explained my issue like with that one is that he 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 is um uh plugs i met too is being produced like exclusively by um uh, harry fraud i think yeah and i think that's how you pronounce it like dude like, with every single like, like name like like i like i say i i, I always I usually say like i hope i said that right even though like i, I know it's correct i just in my head just, like just in like the slow and like the, like the very small chance that i get it wrong I, I want to be able to put up the uh, the defense wall that I'm I, I don't know for sure it might not be the name sorry if I messed it up, hey amen. It's it's a it's a good defense strategy though so I don't get people you know clowning on me or whatever. So yeah, um, a lot of Griselda stuff coming out this year. I can't wait for. There aren't any other rappers I think that are for sure coming out with anything. Actually, there are rappers that I hope will drop, but you know this the, the those I'm just talking about the the confirmed stuff that I'm like you know super hyped for. J. Cole might, J. J. Cole will probably drop one album this year, but I'm not really a huge fan of his. Kendrick probably won't. He's probably going to wait to 2021. He's probably never coming out with an album for like, like another couple of years because it's Kendrick, which I guess I get. He wants to perfect his art. I mean, I don't have a problem with artists like delaying their stuff. I mean, I mean, I mean there's a part of it where it's like you want to listen to it now, but, you know, you want it to be the best it can be. Um, oh, yeah, Kanye is, um, uh, might drop Donda this year. We. <laughs> I, who knows it's it's Kanye so I mean nothing's for certain um I watched us in the blood single he released I don't know if it's for like the album or just for like just like the like to put it out there that that, that song is kind of kind of faded out a bit it's not as good as it once was but it's still solid um uh I don't know I can't think of anyone else that's like for sure dropping that I that I'm like like that I'm like excited. I, I, I know there are other people that I know for sure dropping, but not ones that I'm like that like like I, I can't wait for really. But I can't complain. There's been so much amazing rap this year. So even if there wasn't any 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 more projects that like like really blew me away that like I really loved, um, I wouldn't be that upset because we've, we've gotten so much good stuff this year. Like you know again not from not only from Griselda, you know just from like um uh, I mean e- even people who like I don't really who I'm not a big fan on ha- ha- have been dropping and like i respect that like a lot more underground people like a, like a makami makami i don't know i never know how to how, how to say his name um sorry I, i'm i'm just r- r- ramming about random rap shit now I, I can get into some more of this on like another episode um but yeah i'll wrap it up there i'm sorry i feel like this episode was like like a pretty big mess um i haven't done this like a month and it also still goes back to me still just getting used to doing this so if it's hard to listen to, I'm sorry. Bear with me. I'm getting better, and I will, cause I, you know, I, I plan on taking this very seriously. I just need to get in practice. Practice. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting better. I feel like yeah, I, just, I, I just gotta, uh, I, I just gotta keep at it. I just gotta work on my stutter. I just gotta work on being able to. Uh, I, I need to. I need. To, I need to like plan out like like what like what I'm gonna say more going into it because like I was going with like with like like a loose like a loose idea of like oh yeah I'm gonna talk about like this thing here, and that thing but I don't have like a structured plan. I need I need to be more structured about it. It can just it can just be hard, because I'm also more also more of like of like a like a, like a go with the flow type person, so I I guess you know that's that. So. Um, Again, bear with me. Of course, I'm I'm open to, to criticism. And, you know, the, and, you know, just, just tell me if you want me to be better or something, or if you want me to improve, and I'll most certainly work on it. I wouldn't be offended at all. I again, I would, I I would, I would, I, I would welcome it. As a matter of fact, I just can't get over my fucking stutter. That would be cool if I could stop, but hey, just gotta keep working on it. That's all. So yeah, um, uh, new episodes will be soon. I promise it won't be a month to uh, the next one. I, I got I got some cool people. Probably got some returning people coming on soon. 
Um, uh, I guess that's all. Um, uh, thank you for listening, and uh, goodbye.